On this episode of Mad Ginger Customs, Jess and I start taking apart the 1973 International 1210, so this and a 2008 Mercury Grand Marquis can make a baby. <laughs> It'll be an abomination. We want you guys to name it. So go into the comment section and give us a name. It's an International 1210 and a Mercury Grand Marquis. The Intermerc, the Merc National. Hit us up on our Facebook page. All right, guys, so this is going to be the first episode of... Uh, the Mercury International Chassis Swap. First things first, we gotta get the International taken apart. Think I got an idea on how I can lift everything using the beams in the garage as a post and beam garage. Hopefully I don't tear the whole thing down on top of me. This is the project if you haven't seen it. This is a 1973 International 1210. Uh, it has a 304 with a three speed, it does run. No brakes. It is a three quarter ton truck, I-beam front suspension. It's pretty banged up, but we're going to straighten it out. I have a, another grill for another year that's driver qualities. So the idea is, is we're going to take this cab and we're going to take a Crown Vic or a Mercury Grand Marquis and we're going to use their firewall. And then we're going to have to cut down the bed and make it a short bed for whatever, whatever the wheelbase equ equals when we're done moving the cab and the nose onto the other chassis. So now I got to get rid of this stuff. Uh, there was a guy in the last video said he wanted that T19. That's available. I, I don't know anything about it. I do know it's a T19 and it does, you know, physically shift. And you can turn the input shaft and it turns. So, you know, I don't know if it has any value. But we got some other international parts. This is the grill. I mean, it's got some dents in it. These are hard to find, like nice. And they're really, really pricey. This is going to try, we're going to try to keep the cost down on this build. We're rotting in the corner over there, but we're gonna we're gonna take from here, and we're gonna probably move it to about mm, here. So that'll be gone, and we're gonna take this entire bed floor out because this has to sit lower onto that Panther chassis, and then the gas tank hump is like here. So we're gonna raise the whole bed up. There won't be a whole lot of bed to it, but it will be usable. And then we'll you know we'll do the best we can with scuffing it down. We'll probably put some window seals in it, some door seals in it, fix some of the rot. And then I think I'm going to try to paint it myself. I've never done that before. I don't know. Maybe you guys want to see that. You can see me like, oh my God, look what happened. Like Casey's Customs just did with their lace job, man. Feel bad for Casey after he did all that work. These, everything in this truck is like really heavy. This door's roached at the bottom. We can absolutely fix all that. The outside's not horrible. The rocker is solid on the bottom. Just a little bit on the top. We can absolutely fix that. And then we're going to have to attend to this A pillar. So we want this seat out. Start pulling the dash apart. Um, I'm not really sure how much I got to take out of there. Maybe not a lot. I'm thinking if I just cut it along the trans hump and I'll pull the shifter out of it, I can lift it up and out. All right, guys, I pulled the dash pad off. It's all cracked. It could be repaired, but it, this is what I got when I did that. So none of this stuff is attached. So all the screws are missing. So someone took all of this apart and it's got... Phillips screws, it's got flathead screws. So someone's had it all apart. There's nothing on that dash that works. A lot of guys are like, yeah, use the old dash. I don't wanna do that. I want all the mercury stuff in it. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion, but that's what we're going with, you know? Well, let's try to get this door off without killing myself. I got the other ones loose, just the top one. I thought there was two. That's just the bottom one. Whoa, hey, whoa. Okay, let's tighten that back up. All right. I'll leave that one tight because I don't want the door to fall off and kill me. The whole back side of the post coming down on the inner fender side needs to be rebuilt. This is gonna be a lot of work, guys. Man, it's gonna be a lot of work. I don't know if you guys can see in here with the light, but this is the nut that would have been welded to the inside. This whole piece is gone. I don't know if that's removable, but we're going to have to rebuild it. I can already see a problem with this. Is that wiper motor is not going to work with the car. That's going to be a problem. Went in and told Jess I'm having troubles. So guess what? A new fighter has entered the chat. Will this hat help? With your headlight? Is it on? No. <laughs> Does it work? 
I don't know. There it goes. I think what we're going to do while we got Jess out here is we're going to try to get that driver door off. Get the seat out. And we'll loosen up the bed. I don't, what else do you think we can do for the day? Eat some lunch. Maybe we'll eat some lunch. I don't know. <laughs> that tire's really flat. <laughs> Turn off your headlight. Why? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a minion or something. That tire's not flat. She's yes, dead is. new. Did you? you don't need air in a tire. I think I got the ones from the grill. Every single one on the top is stripped. They all got to be drilled or they all have to be cut. Uh, this is a struggle. I'm just really bad. These ones on this side, most of them came out except for like one or two. These are all stripped. Every effing fastener is ruined. If this was a truck in like Arizona, I'd be half done. What is that? They don't rust. Oh, right. No salt. No salt. <laughs> Big grains of salt. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. All right, so Jess and I are going to just, we're going to get at this door. I hosed it down liberally with some PB blast for that ass. And uh, we're going to hit it with the impact and I'm going to try to hold this door up. And hopefully it falls off and breaks my feet. What do you think? Okay. Okay. So Jess is going to take this camera. Huh? You. What? Take the camera. <laughs> and we're going to, we're going to have at it. Just going to loosen them. That's a, that's a positive sign. This is always the one that's a pain in the ass. Ha! Came right out. I'm over here. Ow! <laughs> you hit me in the head with the camera. <laughs> you did it on purpose. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, it moved. <laughs> Imagine how I did this last time by myself. You're like a good luck charm. Good. None of this stuff worked before. I couldn't get these out to save my life. Better? Hi. Hi. Welcome to the International. <laughs> what are we going to name this? The Merc National? The Intermerc? Didn't someone suggest a name? I thought people in the comments. Have to, guys put in the comments. Yeah, what do you think we, we should, should name this, this um, <laughs> absolute tragedy we're building? It's a Mercury Grand Marquis on the bottom in an international 1210. Put in the comments. How about the 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 comment with the most likes wins? And that's what we'll name it. All right, here we go. Oh god. With the bad shoulder. Maybe I should come help. I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't. No, don't drop help it. me. Don't drop it. Help me, Jesus. Uh, definitely blew out the old Kevlar patch with that one. Guys, I don't know if you know this. I have a hernia. Not so much here <laughs> or here. Right about here. <laughs> All right. We will use that at a later date. Now, it's, it's basically like a Jeep. This is like a Jeep now. You can just jump in it, put your friends in the back. <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> all right, while I got Jess out helping, I think we should try to figure out how to get the seat out of here. Because the feces, the amount of feces, is there's a lot of feces. Yeah, it's cold today, guys. It is cold. The I got... sun's out, but it's still cold. I came out, it was 24 mm. when I started. <sighs> Sounds got like it. a spaceship or something. The Intermerc. <laughs> oh, and if you bump your head on the roof, uh, it literally just all over Falls you. Apart. Yeah, it's bukkake all over Ew. you. Yeah, it's all rat shit and I don't think I can say shit I think I can rat feces it's the feces 
Not really. Hard with the bad shoulder. Maybe I should use the camera and you should do the work. Oh, if my hands will work, they're frozen. Already. Show everyone your, your beautiful welding gloves? Harbor Freight welding gloves. We bought those for Jess because I don't, unbeknownst to you guys, Jess is actually going to be doing a lot of welding coming up. Because everyone's like, how come Jess isn't in videos? And how come Jess isn't doing more stuff? How come Jess isn't welding? Oh, okay. I'm going to show you she's going to burn some shit to the ground. You said S again. Oh, that's a Black Widow. No, stop. There's them's Black Widows. Look at it. Look at it. Right there. there right there. Get in. Get in there. Get in there. Right there. There. Look at it. It is not. Yeah. That's a, a tiny spider. That's a fiddle back. <laughs> almost got me. It's tiny. It almost got me. Oh, yeah. Those are the most venomous. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Don't tell my daughter that. Yeah, my get daughter her out here. She'll identify my, that spider in two seconds. My daughter loves spiders. spiders. We have a tarantula as a pet. We do. So you get on the side with the spider. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I'll stay away. Hey, look, you didn't say you didn't so mind this. So you want me to film you from here? You didn't. I can't yeah. see anything. How's it going? All right. Yeah, hi. Thanks for coming in today. What's all over the top of the seat? Ah, uh, poop. Ew. Ew. <laughs> we can't steal the Mors Morsky. Ew. <laughs> I'm afraid that that aggressive arachnid is going to attack me. It's all the way over here. I know, but they're fast. I'm standing right in front of they're you. That thing will get you in the snooch. <laughs> Stop. Then, what, then what's going to happen? It's like three layers on right now. Yeah, it's going to head right for it. Because that's what I would do. God, stop. At Bailey's Hot Chocolate. Bad choice. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> it's like three quarters of Bailey's. It was delicious, though. <laughs> Guys, we didn't make Bailey's Hot Chocolate. No, we got it at, at the, the game. At the hockey game. You know. Uh, I didn't even ask for Bailey's. They just put it in there. They know. They're like redhead. <laughs> She's clearly an alcoholic. Oh. Not even close. Nope. Hardly ever drink. That's why. That's why it went bad. Because we don't drink. No. And you were like, that's a. Well, I prefer whiskey. Yeah, prefer. All right. That's what I like. And this guy was like pouring it in and he looks at me and I go, all of it. <laughs> and he goes, okay. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I, th I thought he was like priming the pump for later tonight for me and you were going to be a little frisky. Tell them how much we paid for two hot chocolates. Two hot chocolates. Thirty dollars. Thirty bucks with Baileys in them. It's such a scam. I could have got a drink at the bar for that one. I can't afford to go to sporting events. Yeah. We have season tickets for hockey guys. We really love watching our local AHL team. The we Harvard don't, we don't have NHL here. Yeah and there's no more <laughs> NHL in Connecticut. It used to be the Whalers back in the day. So now we got Wolfpack. We support them you know. We pay all the money for the tickets. Oh ah. gosh, why don't you warn me so yeah. I can back it up. Let's go! Okay, that moved. We're taking this, we're easy. taking this slizzit out. Hey, what is that weird looking? That is an ignition rotor. Oh. That's the one I can't, you no, know. No, no, that. Oh, that looks new. That. Looks this? No, no, that. This? It's yeah. a menorah. What do what? you mean? But why? I don't know. I don't know who owned this truck. It, says, see, it says Jerusalem on it. It's kind of cool, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll keep it. We're not Jewish, but, you know, why I'm sure I know someone that is. In here. All right, now. What? We're going to pull this thing and go that way, so we're going to set the tripod I was going to say, I can't hold the camera and do that. All right, can you lift on this side and With I'll push spider? on this side. Yeah, I don't want to be on the spider side. He's going to get you. Oh, it's gone. He's going to get because he's coming on oh, the other no. side to attack me. I don't see it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Are you ready? Okay, pull my way. Yeah, yeah, your way. Oh, yeah. Wait. Will you just drop it or come yeah, and wait, drop it. wait for you? All your little drop it like metal, hot. metal -y things. My metal -y things. You got it. Look at you, Diesel. What the? Hey, lawnmower blades. <laughs> guys, there's lawnmower blades in there. If you guys need some, uh, hit us up, magingercustoms at gmail.com. <laughs> we can get you. Thing? We can get you lawnmower blades. It's about to go. Oh, fuck it. Throw it. Perfect. 
so much room for activities. What do you want to do now? I, I know you want to have lunch, but no. <laughs> I think that. I think we're going to just pass on the stuff in the front because we did get the doors off it, and that was the big deal to be able to get this um, cab off. So I think we're going to try to loosen up the bed. And then let me show you guys what I'm going to do. Let me know in the comments if you think we're going to die. Come on. Come, oh, come, God. come with me. Come on. Let's go. You come too. Yeah. Oh, you're pretty. Thanks. All right. So this is the garage we work in. You guys have seen this in our videos. If you watch us, this is what I did. This is two by two by eighth. It's the only thing I had because I actually bought this because I'm going to make an engine run stand out of a Harbor Freight engine stand. It does hang over. This is post and beam. I mean, I hung from this and it was fine. How did you get up there? I'm too fit. What do you mean? <laughs> you uh, because I'm fat, I can't jump? You get up there, go. I can't get, get up. Get up, jump. I can't jump. But Man, I, you're, you're so white. I couldn't stand on that. Okay. So anyway, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a chain fall on that and we're gonna try to back the truck in using the winch from the Jeep. Hopefully it doesn't go crashing through the back of this barn. And then we're going to use this and we're going to pick up the bed. And then we'll put it on some skates, some, uh, you know, car dollies. And we'll try to push it out, Jess and I, and we'll fail miserably at that. But we got to get that bed off. That's one of the big things. Get the bed off, get it out of the way. Um, this is a lot of work for Jess and I. Considering A, we haven't done it before. And B, Jess is like maybe a third of a mechanic. Maybe a quarter. How do you rate yourself as a mechanic? A mechanic? Sca I, I, on a 1 to 10 score. I don't know how to do anything. Okay, minus 3. <laughs> Alright, so, minus 3. She's pretty though. She can weld better than actually most of the guys that I know now. So we got these springy jobs. The problem is that one is over the gas tank. I don't think we can get it. Maybe without taking the tank out. Maybe we should take the tank out anyway. How much dirt's gonna rain down? All of it? Yep, all of it. Okay, well that was actually much easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, that worked. That's Zodite. Sometimes they need to be little adjustments pushed on. Broke it off, just as good. Okay, okay, got it, I got it. I guess we don't need that anymore either. All right, now we should be able to get this one. We'll do the ones on the other side, you don't gotta watch that, and we'll try to figure out the ones in the back. And then we're gonna try to back it in the drive, or in the garage. Did I mention it has no brakes? Oh, we're gonna do this. Maybe with the Jeep, with the winch, or we'll, uh, I'll put the trans in first and just use the clutch to kind of hold it. The problem is I have no rear view mirrors. Right, so how can you see if you're gonna hit the doors? I can't. Well, where do you want me to go then? <laughs> I don't want you to get behind it. Right, but I can't tell you from here. The snowblower is not in an ideal position either. Chris is falling. Yep. Straighten it, straighten it. You good. Yeah. Actually, yes. You have, I didn't even look backwards. You have clearance on both sides. It's a little bit tighter on this side. So we want the we want the bed like here, like the tailgate. Here. Yeah, you okay. sure? Yeah. Okay. Don't get run over. Stay on the side. I'm right here. Are you gonna be able to hear me when I say stop? 
I can't hear you! Uh, uh. Keep going. Stop. That wasn't hard. Well, hopefully that's where you want it. <laughs> I mean, that's that's kind of almost correct. Hi. <laughs> Steak pockets are all ruined. Ruined. That's not bad. That might work. Yes. 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 You sound like the things from the dark crystal. <laughs> now you're telling everyone how old you are. <laughs> Maybe underneath where it's rotted, you know, because why wouldn't you put it where it's rotted? That's the perfect hole, you know? There's, there's nothing like finding the perfect hole. What are you laughing at? Oh. Oh, don't you worry about me. You're going to just fall through the bed. <laughs> Yeah. And put the hook under. I can't see the hook. I can't. Right there. Yeah, yeah, where your hand is. Right there. Right there. Put the hook right there. Like in that little spot? Yeah. Right in the hook. Yeah, yeah, right there. Come on. You gotta push the latch down. That's probably good enough. All right, this is not... Go look at what I did. Can you fit by there? Is that a fat joke? <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> Man, you're always talking about how fat I am. Oh my God. It hurts me like right here, <laughs> this area. If you don't hear from me. Okay, that's comforting. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! Oh, Ow! As you ah! <laughs> oh, my spine! Okay, what are you putting? You gotta cut. Should I come under there? I mean, you can. We're currently looking at your feet. Yeah, look at my feet. <laughs> are they still there? Yes, Perfect. and you're moving. And this hasn't cut my legs off yet. Right. Can you give me some cutters second drawer down the table's probably in the way yep <laughs> will that work no just give it to me you just said that's that's not for that okay you said second drawer down just just is on the left or the right next time i ask for something punch me in the face you didn't specify second drawer on left or I right mean, you're, first off the internet knows that you're really not good with my directions no your directions are not okay. good i feel like you're attacking me. Oh my gosh, watch your head. Watch your head. <laughs> Am I dirty? Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, of course. And it's in my ears. Good. It's in my ears. Good. I shake like a dog. I don't know if this is going to work. And I don't want you to get hurt. So I want you to back way up. Like, okay. go over there. In the other side? Yeah, because in case one of the straps snaps. <laughs> now, well, technically... Working. It's moving. Oh. Ow. What about now? Oh. Yeah, we can move it. You gotta come see from this side. Well, I just wanna look underneath and make sure. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. See what I'm saying? It's not gonna clear that. I think that's hot. 
high enough. Yeah, that looks... What do you think? A lot better. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. It's not going to break. It's... <laughs> don't... Don't worry. I'm pretty worried myself. Actually, that might work because it'll go by the wheel that way. Do you have any concerns about this bowing? No. Okay. I knew that was going to bow a little bit. Okay. That's okay. All right. Oh, it's spinning. It's spinning. <laughs> it's knitting. Knitting. <laughs> spinning. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Please be careful. I feel like as far as OSHA standards go, this is probably spot on with mm. being the way you're supposed to do this. Right. Safety. Safety first. Mm-hmm. Okay, how are you going to fit through there, though? Fit through where? The side of the garage. You mean out the door? You mean the door that goes out to the side? Okay. You're so pretty. Okay. Pushed it. I'm out, but i got to get in and drive it. That's what I'm, yeah. Yeah, 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 see, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was yeah. asking. How are you getting back out? Yeah, copper. Oh, I can't. I don't have a seat. What do you guys think? Not bad, right? Nobody even got killed. Why would you walk by it that way? To get the milk crate. You go the other way around. <laughs> if it breaks, it'll swing and kill you. Go around that way. Use I your... had to go that way to get... Okay. Oh my god, you, you're kidding me. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're a hazard at the job site. It's because you're distracting me with your beauty. <laughs> you're Take not going to fit that through the... <laughs> yes, I will. See? Oh, okay. Don't you worry about that. You did it. Yay. <laughs> Look at this cross member. I'm not sure how this happened because I didn't cut that. That's clearly old, but look at where the shocks are attached. Anybody need a Dana 60? No one died. What do you think? Amazing. Were you scared? A little bit. That's because you don't trust me. Mm. Trust me either sometimes. Sometimes, you know, it's rough. Like I do a lot of dumb things, so. Well, I don't always know what you're doing until you're actually doing it. So right. it's probably better that way if you don't tell me, here's what's going to happen. Then you don't get so scared. <laughs> then I don't freak out prematurely. <laughs> it's like when we used to race uh, Enduros and Demolition Derby. <laughs> everything's fine. Car's on fire, but everything's fine. You guys on YouTube want to see Jess and I build a little, like a four-cylinder enduro derby car, or maybe a, a figure eight car? For the fair? For the fair. We used to do that when we were young. We were teenagers and we did that. Riverside? Riverside. Now we're dating ourselves. I know. They don't call it Riverside anymore, guys. It's uh, Six Flags. Six Flags. But it used to be Riverside, and they had a small oval. And, uh, man, we smashed up some cars there. For sure. Anyway, guys, we put it on our Harbor Freight uh, skates, on our dollies. I mean, this thing moves this easy now. Like, you can just... All right, guys. Well, that's about as far as we're going to get on this episode. Um, it was actually way more work than I thought because of the uh, struggle with all the bolts being rotted. I didn't show you guys any of that. I struggled for hours. I worked probably two hours taking six bolts out. It was bad, like just working them back and forth, PB blasting them, heating them. You know, it was it was a struggle. So um, the bed's off. A lot of the a lot of the um, cab is disconnected. So we'll we'll work on that next time. Getting that cab picked up, take it off, cut it out, set it back down. We'll have to get another set of skates from Harbor Freight, I think. We'll have to build a cart for it. 
And then uh, we'll start taking that Panther chassis Mercury Grand Marquis apart to slide on in it. We'll use extra lube. It'll go, it'll fit right in there. It'll be fine. If you guys like this content, you can uh, hit the bias copy link on the top. You can hit the Amazon links. That helps the channel out. And uh, hit the subscribe. We, you know, it moves us up in the algorithm. More people see our videos. And just remember, guys, if we can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.